Today is Tuesday, September 24th, and this is video number two out of a two video set showing the fully assembled embodiment of the control arms for the 1967 Cadillac Eldorado for my friend Simon Young in Australia. So video number one showed all of the components laid out across the bench. And now here in video number two, I've gone ahead and assembled the press fitted upper control arm bushings and upper ball joint and the lower control arm bushings. And corresponding ball joint. Okay, and of course these ball joints have the correct taper for the 67 Eldorado, which is a one-year only specific taper because of the one-year specific uh, knuckles used in 1967 for the uh, all drum brake variant. So this is uh, video number two out of a two video set. Anyone who's ever gone through the process of press fitting in the bushings and the control arms knows that it's a very laborious uh, labor intensive task. And I've gone ahead and done that for my friend Simon in Australia in order to make the installation of these fully assembled sub assemblies uh, much easier for his front suspension restoration. Okay, this is George in Florida. I have over 375,000 original vintage parts from 1959 through 1976. 75,000 parts specific to the Eldorado from 1967 through 1978. I'm best known for my restoration of the Cadillac steering wheels, the tilt and telescopic steering columns, the power seat mechanisms, the instrument clusters, and other critical, hard to source, original vintage Cadillac items, such as these uh, suspension components, which have been fully restored and uh, powder coated in the original <coughs> chassis black for period correctness. Okay, today is September 24th. This is George in Florida. Thank you very kindly.